Alright guys, so it's Thursday morning. I just left for my psychology class. I actually left like right at the last minute, meaning I'm going to get there like right on time. Which actually means I'm probably going to be a little bit late. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm on my way to class right now. And then afterwards, I'm probably going to either stay at the school and do some schoolwork or go over to the library um, and get some schoolwork done there. Because tomorrow I'm going um, up to... Orlando to go to Halloween Horror Nights with my best friend and spend the weekend up there. So I know I'm not gonna have a lot of time to get schoolwork done. So I really need to spend like a lot of time today getting some schoolwork done. Yeah. All right guys, so I did make it to class on time, luckily. Um, and then I actually didn't wind up staying at school. I was really hungry, so I picked up some Chick-fil-A and now I'm back home and I'm about to do some schoolwork. Um, but first I'm just going to clean up a little bit because my desk is kind of a mess right now. Um, I'm just going to clean up a little bit, maybe light a few candles, get in the study mood. Um, and then I might wind up going to the gym later. Um, we'll see how much time I have. But because I've been trying to go to the gym more often and lately I've been going like almost every single day of the week. Um, and I'm also going to spend the next couple of days in Orlando, so I know I'm not going to have time to go then, so I'm going to try to go tonight. since I rearranged my room and we actually got new floors nobody probably noticed but I used to have carpet and now we have wood floors um and so I took that opportunity to rearrange like the layout of my room so I'm just turning on the lights right now and then I wanted to show you guys what it looks like so basically I had my bed over there against the wall and then my desk was way over here but now I have my desk against the window because for the longest time, I've wanted to be able to, like, be doing schoolwork or whatever and have, like, sunlight at my desk so that it's not, like, super dark and depressing against a wall. Um, so, yeah, I moved my desk over here and my bed into the middle of my room. Um, and so this is what it looks like now. And I just added, like, this Himalayan salt lamp, which I think is super pretty. And I have this big crystal thingy. Um... Yeah, and then I also want to like add like a bunch of paintings across like the top of my bed and I mean it's still a work in progress and then oh and then I want to replace this. I actually got a new white bulletin board and I'm going to make a video um, replacing this one and putting that one up and then I'm going to make a kind of like nursing vision dream board um, but that's for another time. But yeah, anyway, um, I just wanted to show you guys. It's not perfect, but I changed my whole room layout, so this is what it looks like.
guys, it is a little bit later and I did decide to go to the gym, so I'm just wearing um, a Victoria's Secret sports bra, this workout shirt from Pink, and these plain black leggings from American Eagle. Alright guys, so it is Friday, it's the next day, and I just picked up some food from Starbucks, and I'm about to head up to Orlando to meet my best friend um, at the hotel that we got for the night, and then we're going to go to Halloween Horror Nights. Um, I've never been before, and I'm pretty, like, I'm really excited, but I'm also really nervous because I get spooked, like, super easily. Um, but it should be a really fun time, and this is also, like, the longest drive I've ever been on by myself. Um, but it's only, like, two hours, two and a half hours, so should be okay. But yeah, so I'll update you guys when I get there. just got to the hotel here's a little tour so here's the room and we got this for a hundred dollars and I really don't think that it's that bad for only a hundred dollars for one night um here's the bathroom it's almost 4 a.m. and we just got back um we went to Halloween Horror Nights and then we went to IHOP because we were starving and we needed dinner and there was literally nowhere else to go we actually went to Waffle House first and then they weren't open for some reason even though they're supposed to be open like 24 hours but um so anyway we decided to go to IHOP and it was pretty good and now we're back at the hotel and I'm literally about to pass out so tired Alright guys, so it's the next day. It's actually Saturday night and as you can see I'm back in my room. Um, I really didn't record that much today because I spent the entire day out in Orlando doing stuff. We went to Arcade Monsters um, and then we went shopping at the outlets and I got a good amount of stuff which I actually want to show you guys. Um, and then we went out to eat and we actually drove all the way to Disney Springs um, at like 8 30 at night which is not a good idea i don't recommend it because it was so busy and packed and we just wound up leaving because we couldn't even park um but anyway i'm back now but yeah so i'm just gonna show you guys what i got and then take a shower i cannot wait to take a shower and just crawl into bed i had such a good time but like traveling is so much fun but i always just like like it, it feels so nice to just eventually come home and like take a shower at home and just be back to like a normal routine. Anyway, let me show you guys what I got. Okay, don't call me basic, but I've been wanting these for a long time now, so I finally got them. Um, I just got the Nike Air Force Ones, the plain ones that are all white. Um, and they're kind of expensive, but um, I really like need a new pair of shoes anyway, and I've just been wanting these for so long, so... I finally got those and then from PacSun I just got this cute little cropped tee, graphic tee, and it says Pacific Sunwear on it um, and it's just like sage color. It's like a super pretty like light color and then I got this shirt because I've been wanting 
um some long shirts to go with these biker shorts that i have for the longest time and i saw this at paxson and i thought it was such a cute design like it's so cool um it's like a bunch of butterflies and like the zodiac signs and stuff um i just thought this was such a cool shirt and it's like it's really long so like it can go with some biker shorts um or it can be like tied whatever and then so from american eagle i got some necklaces um some gold necklaces to go um with these new shirts that i got or just other outfits um i got two sets of them because i've just been wanting them for a while now um and then i got a couple more long shirts so i got this one to also go with a pair of biker shorts it's another long shirt um it's just like a vintage like graphic tee because that's like super in style now and then I got this one, which is more for like winter time and when it gets colder, but it's always freezing in my school. So it doesn't really matter to me because like in the library, especially I'm always super cold, but I got this um, American Eagle like sweater um, and it's super soft on the inside, but it's just like with some like gold chains um, over some biker shorts, like that would be super cute. And I kind of spent a lot of money today, but I haven't gone shopping for clothes in such a long time. Like, such a long time. So it was really nice to finally just get some new stuff and change up my wardrobe a little bit. Um, instead of re-wearing, like, the same clothes all the time. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go take a shower and then pass out and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright, so sorry if my hair is a bit of a mess right now. I normally straighten it, in case you didn't know. So my natural hair is like... It's not really like curly, usually. It's just like very poofy. Um, anyway, it's the next day. It's the afternoon right now. I kind of had a late start to the day. But I really need to get some schoolwork done. Okay, I just opened up the window, so the lighting should be a bit better. Anyway, I have a medical terminology midterm I need to get done today. And the way the class works is that it's divided into modules. And, like, I can't access anything in the next module before I complete what's in the module that I'm on, if that makes sense. So like right now I think I'm on module seven or module eight. And so I need to complete like what's in that module first before I can even take the midterm, if that makes sense. So I just, I need to get that done. And then I also have a quiz due for my psychology research methods class that I need to do tonight. So I just need to get some of that schoolwork done. And then I think I'm gonna go to the gym. So those two things are really gonna be the highlight of my day today. Like the two things that I really want to get done, need to get done. Um, but it is five o'clock right now and I haven't taken my midterm yet um and the gym closes at seven o'clock tonight i think i just remembered that because it's a sunday <laughs> but that's okay um if i don't wind up going to the gym i will just get a workout in at home um that's fine too that works too but yeah so let's get to it all right good morning guys i just woke up um it is the afternoon because my sleep schedule is super messed up i've been trying to fix it but it hasn't been going super well so far um i was supposed to go to the library today and get some coffee and just get a bunch of schoolwork done but that didn't wind up happening um that's okay though i'm just going to take a shower and then probably pick up some caffeine and food from Starbucks or somewhere and then get a bunch of schoolwork done today because I just had such a busy weekend and I need to get a lot of stuff done and I also need to do my planning for this week so I'll show you guys that as well. Okay, so I just got home and I also had to run to Walgreens as well to get some skincare products I needed. So I ran out of my, this is one of the face washes that I use. It's the Rapid Clean, the Rapid Clear Stubborn Acne 
face wash from Neutrogena. Um, I highly recommend this. If you have like acne that just like will not go away in a certain area, it has benzoyl peroxide in it. So it's like pretty strong and you can definitely like feel it like when you're using it and it takes a little while for your skin to adjust to it. At least if you have like sensitive skin like me, but it, it really does work, but it's very drying. So you have to use like a moisturizer with it. And then I needed um, more micellar water just like to take off my makeup and they were buy one get one 50% off and I saw that they had this one which has vitamin C in it and I've never used this one before but um I figure I could use like this in the morning to just like cleanse my skin again before I put on like sunscreen and stuff um because vitamin C is like this vitamin C is like brightening and I know it's like for your skin i don't really know like all of the benefits it has but i know it helps with like brightening your skin and i think it like reduces the appearance of like dark spots and then from starbucks i just got the um the turkey i always get this sandwich whenever i like want like a breakfast sandwich it's the turkey bacon breakfast sandwich and it's not like the best one they have, I would say like the best tasting one they have is like the bacon gouda one, but this one's like healthier. It has like turkey bacon and stuff and it's on um, like a whole grain English muffin, I think. So I always get that sandwich. And then I really wanted something like that to do with fall because it's fall time and they have all their like fall bakery stuff. So I got the pumpkin cream cheese muffin um, and I'm gonna split it with my mom. And then I got the birthday cake cake pop um because it's super good in my opinion i mean not everyone likes them because they're like the the cake the batter in them is like super doughy but i love their cake pops i think they're really good and then this is gonna sound so weird um but it actually tastes pretty good um it's really sweet though but i got the pink drink like it's um like a strawberry Aussie refresher with coconut milk and then you add sweet cream cold foam on top and you mix it in and it's so good. It's really sweet though. So you have to like be wanting something sweet, but it's it's really good. Um, and yeah, that's everything I got. I'm super hungry. So I'm gonna go inside, eat, and then get a bunch of schoolwork done. So I just finished planning for this week. It is week nine and I just added this little pumpkin here. Um, I did it last week too because I got this pack of really cute like fall um, stickers. So I'm just trying to use them up before fall ends. I put another one over here and then I put this little to-do list here um, of just things I'm trying to get done this week and then have all my classes up here, some medical terminology, research methods of psychology, lab, microbiology, drugs and behavior, um, and then this is my nursing stuff that I have to do for my major. I know it looks like there's a ton of stuff that I need to do for microbiology, but this is really like for this week and a little bit of next week. I have my third micro exam next week, so I have to get all this done before next Tuesday um and yeah and then I work on Sunday from 3 p.m to close right now I'm working every other week until winter break all right so now that I got that done I'm going to focus on actually completing some of this stuff now but um I'm just I love planning like I love just putting everything I need to get done out like onto a piece of paper and like visualizing all of it if that makes sense um whenever i feel like super overwhelmed or stressed about school or not even like stressed but just like scatterbrained whenever i feel like 
I'm not exactly sure like what I need to be getting done this week. Planning it out just helps so much, which is why I love just having an agenda and like strictly like planning every single week because in the past, like in high school, I hardly ever used a planner. I would use it like maybe the first week of school and then I would kind of forget about it. Um, and it really like showed because I was not super organized in high school and it affected my grades a lot because I was always forgetting when we had stuff due, when we had exams coming up. It was not good. Um, there was one year in high school my grades just like were so bad because I was so disorganized and it really like it all comes down to just planning and being on top of stuff like you don't even have to be the smartest student or have the highest iq like really just grades all depend on putting in the time and like being organized like knowing what you need to get done and what's coming up at least for me at least in my opinion for me um, number one thing I always need to do is like be organized and know what I need to get done. Alright guys, it's the next day. Um, I just got back from my research methods class a little while ago and then I picked up some Panera for dinner, got some mango smoothies, a group soup, um, a flatbread and their mac and cheese because I love their mac and cheese. But yeah, so it's T minus four days until my third micro exam um and i'm pretty nervous for it i currently have a 93 or a 94 in the class right now so it's not like bad but it's not the highest a so there's not a whole lot of room for error um and i know if i study and which i will and i put in the time like i should be able to do fine i just always get such bad exam anxiety and it's mainly because like i always think in terms of like it all boils down to just the singular exams like it just takes one exam to ruin like like in my head i always think like it just takes one exam to ruin like your whole future like if you just if you fail one exam then you're gonna get a b or a c in the class and then you're not gonna get into nursing school and then you're never gonna get to be a nurse and just and it's such a bad way to think um and but like that's just like that's why i just get so anxious for my exams um and i know most people probably think that way too but i just need to remember that as long as i put in the time and i study like i should be fine and even if it's not like even if i were to somehow do like really bad on one of my exams like it's not the end of the world but like sometimes it feels like it is i don't know but anyway so i have four more days until i need to take that exam four more days to prep for it so tonight i'm hoping to have a really productive night get a lot of schoolwork done not just for that class i have other classes i need to get stuff done for um and then i want to go to the gym today because i didn't go yesterday so yeah hopefully we have a super productive night and to end the vlog off on a good note so i'm about to leave for the gym but i really quickly wanted to do a little outfit check for you guys so i'm wearing this cropped hoodie from charlotte Russe um with these american or abercrombie and fitch leggings if you can't tell they're like textured they have like stripes on them kind of um and then i'm wearing these light baby pink converse um, to go with them because I always like to wear Converse um, or like any flat shoe when I'm doing legs because um, it just gives you a more like stable surface.
got a good amount of my schoolwork done tonight. I spent about three hours, I think, three or four hours doing schoolwork, but I got my microbiology chapter 10 study guide done. I got all of the dynamic study modules done for that and the homework assignments, and then I got my chapter 11 study guide done for microbiology as well. And then I took a quiz for my research methods class, and I also booked my advising appointment for what classes I need to take next semester. Since I'm in this certain program, I have holds on my registration, so I have to meet with my advisor and go over the classes that I'm going to take next semester, and I have that next Wednesday. I'm kind of nervous for it because I don't know, like, what classes, like I don't really have a plan at all yet of what classes I'm going to take next semester. All I know is I'm probably going to be taking biology because I still need to take that prerequisite. But besides biology, I'm not sure what I'm going to be taking next semester. So I guess we'll find out um, next week. But anyway, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. This is the end of the vlog for this week. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please make sure to give it a like and to subscribe for more videos from me in the future.